What's going on, Castle Clash? My name is With Honor. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the packs today. See if there's anything worthwhile. What events are going on that might make it a little bit better or no impact at all. First, let's check out the packs. We'll start with just the limited time offers. $99 package is Skeletica. 200,000 fame. Sent for $100 at this point. 2200 Blessed Tone ones. These aren't the most efficient for selling for honor badges if that's what you need. Uh, the purple ones are, but that's a, a whole lot of books if you need experience. 150 talent refresh cards. You spend $100, I don't know how much value you get out of that, but obviously 300 gems per card if you look at it that way. But we pretty much buy all the talents we need at this point. So it's, I don't know, fun, I guess. This is interesting. Uh, it's probably a typo. I don't know why they give us 13 level 3 prime crest box at the level 100, $100 mark. So they've been, oh, what, around 7 to 9? Usually? Around 7? So that's interesting. And then shards. Depends on where you're at in the game. There could be a lot of value there if you're early on, mid range. But for me, I'd be looking at basically the 200,000 fame just prepping for the next update so that I can max out uh, Destinies really fast. Alright, $50 pack. In Levanica Bag 2 from $50. I mean, we already saw, I think, 60 from a $100 pack, so that's definitely getting her in the cheaper range. She's getting down below 400 in value, which is good for a lot of people who don't have her. And uh, 66,000, why would they use 666? That's just interesting, but 66,600 fame for 50 bucks. It's pretty nice, but we'll see over here that there's a better one. Empower 7, Gen 7, Red and Blue Crystals. I don't like this pack much. Unless you need every single one of these things, you're missing Lavonica specifically. If you have Lavonica and you need the rest of this, skip it. Don't need fame, skip it. If you're already making level 7 runes, skip it. Uh, and these, I, I have too many of these left in my warehouse. But if you need all this, it's a decent buy. Put on the $20 pack, which are the ones I usually buy at this point. 30 Mastery Essence 3s. Not useful on my account, but it's definitely a, a nice chunk because I get like two to three heroes to ten out of ten. A bunch of fit, a bunch of honor badges, which one of the things that I run out of. A bunch of merits. So I mean, depending on how much how much is in your warehouse, I'm literally buying almost everything the warehouse gives me just to try and burn through merits, but still have a ton left. For God seven, not the best anymore. These boxes are kind of nice. I just opened one up and got, uh, or opened 10 up, and speaking of which, four of them were honor badges, which was really nice for me. Got some, got a fame drop, one of the fine enchantment drops. They get the level 7 talent runes. That was one, two, six. I don't remember the rest. I think there were some books and maybe some green karmic stones. But these are, these is like the limit of gambling fun that I have in the game. All pretty decent. Don't necessarily need them all like level 5 stone skin crest, but this is a decent pack. Especially if you need merits. And these essences. If you need those two things, really decent pack. Especially with uh, the $20 reward purchase and that we'll look at after we get through these. Ten dollars. I mean, if you need Gunslinger or Anubis or both, especially great. If you want to roll your chances on one of these newer heroes, like a Dove Keeper, or Storm Eater. Serene is really good too. So, I mean, this is decent odds. One in seven for one of the good, better heroes. These things to me are just a pain in the butt. Like, can we make a? Experience pack uh, four, five, and six at this point, so I don't have to open up 25 of these. It's a good amount of books. 
your really low level account. Again, merits if you need them. That's what it is. Faint doesn't really work on many heroes as the main talent. Uh, I know it's been experimented with, and if you don't have anything better, can work on some heroes for that dodge that combined with traits, but not the best talent. And level and five dollar packs. Uh, get a rock no in his skin and a regenerate talent. I would never look at those. So a hundred dollar pack. I mean this. This is an insane like might booster depending on where you are. If you just need to max out like uh, skills, boost some levels, and you need merits, a, like if you don't need merits, this pack just sucks. You just eliminate twenty five percent of it. And then if you're spending a hundred dollars, I mean, is this extra what uh, twenty five thousand gems really worth it? Gives you more gambling on rolling for the next hero or whatever you're gonna do, but if you don't need merits, skip this pack. If you do need merits and you need to boost a lot of levels and skill levels. It's okay. Not great, maybe I'll give it a C. This pack right here. Two hundred thousand my fifty bucks. This one is so tempting. I mean, I haven't bought any of these new talents, and you get four of them here. Unholy Pact isn't really that great. Sort of uh, impactful, or unimpactful, or not impactful, unimpactful. But uh, Sacred Light does find its place on a lot of heroes. But what are you going to do with 200,000? 200, 200, is that right? 2,000, 20, it's 2 million shards? 2,000, 20,000, 200,000, 200, 4 million shards, really? I feel like my math is wrong. A lot of calculator. It seems ridiculous, but I was at this point. 400,000, all right. And way too many zeros, or one too many. But who needs shards at this point? Again, I mean, if you're in the situation where these essences are going to help you, this would probably help you too. Or just evolutions without having dupes. But I have shards to waste. Like, donating too many shards to, just because the guild name is new and we're trying to get up in the ranks on that. And it's just pretty much a waste of resources, but not needed. I do like 200,000 fame and the sacred light. Only holy packs, eh. Depends on if you need if you need these shards quite a bit to evolve heroes. This is a decent pack. Actually, it's a really good pack. If you need the shards, it's a really good pack. Um, but if you don't, then unholy pack is probably not the best talent for you. So you're looking at fifty bucks for two talents and two hundred thousand fame. But two hundred thousand fame for fifty bucks is nice. A Twenty dollar pack. Ones I usually look at. Um, Demo Gorgons. Cool to have in your collection and may find a niche in some of your lost battlefield team or something like that or even fortress feud i guess maybe depending on where you're at uh, but the 10 insignia runes is kind of nice uh, these packs are decent I'm trying to get skins maybe more insignia runes but a sort is not worth getting and i think these are level three talent boxes so but then there's 50,000 000 fame worth of level fives you like gambling on talents? It's okay. I mean, this pack probably gets to see. For $10. This is probably the best pack of the day, I think. Simply because almost... I mean, there's a lot of people I know that don't need the uh, elite pets, blue pets, but most people in the game, 99.9% .9 will probably need those. Um, these essences are really good. Consider this is a $10 pack. You get two chances at one of the heroes on this list. If you're missing any of them, it's pretty good. The books to level them up, the essences to skill them up, and pets um, make as long as you're getting them above level 31. Which I still have. I even still have a couple that I haven't gotten to 31. First of all, it's been out forever. I just don't get them from random bags and. It's not available to purchase. 
basically just because the newest one was available to purchase is caught right back up. But let's look at the events. So the first one to look at is this. This is always something I consider when purchasing. So what's worth buying here? Five evolution runes, 14 blessed tome threes. Those are all good rewards. I mean, I haven't evolved, I haven't double evolved all of the heroes in my altar, and heroes come out all the time, so that's 5,000 fame. Pretty well spent. Uh, 14 blessed tome twos, great for trying to max out a hero real fast. Uh, then you go to $50 pack. Five fine enchantment chests are awesome. Plus the master instances. If you need them, they're good. If you don't, they're just um, warehouse fodder. Um, but these enchantment chests are, you always want to guarantee yourself the four or the five every time. Uh, and you're not necessarily going to get something you need, but rolling enchantments is worse than rolling talents. Five anniversary bags and 14,000 fame. I don't even know what those anniversary bags have at this point. I don't know if I've ever opened one or seen one. Let's see. I don't think this one's... Oh, I guess it's just this one? This is, you get those at the $100 mark? So at $20 you get 10 can't be the same exact one. Can it? I guess it can be. Was it anniversary blank or anniversary one, two, or three? Anniversary bags. Five? Alright, it's the same label, but... Yeah, I'm not sure about that. The $100 bags weren't that great. Unless you're super low might and have to upgrade 80 heroes in your altar. So definitely skip the hundred dollars today. Fifties, fifty dollar packs were decent. Twenty dollar packs were probably second best. The ten dollar uh, update pack was probably the best one to, of the day, depending on what you need. It's ten and twenty here. Yeah, this ten dollar pack sucks. This twenty dollar pa dollar pack's okay. This twenty dollar pack, if you're missing Demogorgon, isn't. Probably skip buying most things today, and these events are pretty much a shit show. Like playing cards, go ahead and play some poker here, but the event is terrible as far as luck goes and what you're going to get. Smash and win the $50. Never gotten anything decent from that, even though there's fairly good things on the list of what you can get. Hero Forge. I don't think I've ever forged anything that was under 80 to 90 percent. If that, it might have only been 100 percent. So, realistically, if you're going to try and get something from this, you're going to have to spend whatever amount of money it takes to get to this these numbers, which is ridiculous. Looking in treasure chests are old and haven't been updated. Oh, there's an update. I've got an Asura in this one, but these are really old events that just don't pay off on Android at this point. You got Crystal Coffers, which I mean, they're decent, but it just it costs money to get rather than gems or whatever rewards you already collected. And Pirates of Booty is a, a literally booty, so that's my take on the events today. I would say overall... Don't buy if you don't need to. Hey, what's up, Born? Sorry, I'm making a video. Uh, don't buy if you don't need to. It's nothing. I, this is one of those days where I would uh, probably look at something very specific, like fame if I needed it, because 200,000 fame at the $50 mark versus the $100 mark. So this will be 214,000 fame, something like that. Pick specifically what you need if you need it. Otherwise, wait for a better day. That's it for me. I'm out of here. Thanks, guys, for watching.